Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Teeny Crochets and today I'll be showing you how to crochet this adorable mushroom bag. So get your crochet hooks at the ready and let's get going. To make the mushroom bag I'm going to be using So Crafty Chunky Yarn and I'm going to be using the colour Autumn and the colour Snow. And I'm also going to be using a 10mm crochet hook. So let's get straight into the pattern. So I'm going to begin with the colour snow. So let's begin. With the colour snow, I'm going to slip knot onto hook. And for those of you who haven't worked with super chunky yarn before, just be aware to crochet a little bit more loosely than you normally would, just so your stitches don't get stuck. So now I'm going to chain two, one and two. And into the second chain from hook so we're going to skip this first one and straight into the second chain I'm going to do six single crochets one two three four five and six so we have six stitches working in the round for our next round I'm going to increase from six stitches to 12 so I'm going to do two single crochets into every stitch so into the first stitch remembering to work loosely I'm going to increase for stitches number one and two into the next stitch I'm going to do stitches three and four into the next stitch we're going to do stitches five and six into the next stitch we're going to do seven Ooh, seven and eight Into the next stitch, we're going to do nine and ten. And into the last stitch of this round, we're going to do stitches eleven and twelve. So we have twelve stitches. For the next round we're going to increase from 12 stitches to 18 so we're going to single crochet into one stitch and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times so I'm going to single crochet for one then increase in the next stitch for two and three then we're going to single crochet for four and increase in the next stitch for five and six grab some more yarn five and six single crochet for stitch number seven increase in the next stitch for eight and nine single crochet stitch number ten Increase in the next stitch for 11 and 12. Single crochet, stitch number 13. Increase in the next stitch for 14 and 15. Single crochet, 16. And increase in the last stitch of this round for stitch number 17 and 18 so we have 18 single crochets working in the round for the next round we're going to increase from 18 stitches to 24 so I'm going to single crochet into two stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times so I'm going to single crochet one and two Increase in the next stitch for three and four. Then 
then we're going to single crochet five and six increase in the next stitch for seven and eight single crochet nine and ten increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve single crochet thirteen and fourteen increase in the next stitch for fifteen and sixteen single crochet 17 and 18 increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20 single crochet 21 22 and increase into the last stitch of this round for 23 and 24 for the next round we're going to increase from 24 stitches to 30 so I'm going to single crochet in three stitches and then I'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch six times so single crochet one two and three increase in the next stitch for four and five single crochet six seven eight increase in the next stitch for nine and ten single crochet eleven twelve thirteen increase in the next stitch for 14 and 15 single crochet 16 17 and 18 increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20 single crochet 21 22 23 increase in the next stitch for 24 and 25 single crochet 26 27 28 and increase in the last stitch of this round for 29 and 30 for the next round we're going to single crochet around these 30 stitches but in the back loop only so we're going to do 30 single crochets back loop only so I'm going to take my hook and insert it in the back loop of each stitch so we're no longer for this round only going to go through both the loops for every stitch we're going to ignore that front loop and we're going to place our hook into the back loop and then continue our stitches as normal and we're going to do that just for this round so let's do 30 back loop stitches one two three and 30 so that is the bottom or the base of the bag complete so the next thing we're going to do is single crochet around these 30 stitches for six rounds so six rounds of single crochet and we're going to be going through both loops of each stitch again from now on so six rounds of single crochet and I'll meet you back when I've finished once you've finished your six rounds of single crochet it's time to do a decrease round and we're going to decrease from 30 stitches to 24 so to do that I'm going to single crochet three stitches 
and then I'm going to single crochet two stitches together and I'm going to do that six times. So single crochet for one, two and three and then decrease for number four. So to do our decreases we're going to insert our hook under the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert our hook under the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So there are three loops on my hook and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops and that's how I'm going to do my decreases or single crochet two stitches together. So that was stitch number four now we're going to single crochet again for five, six and seven and now decrease for stitch number eight. And then single crochet, nine, ten, eleven, and decrease for stitch number twelve. Single crochet, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and decrease for stitch number 16 and then single crochet 17 18 19, decrease for 20, and then single crochet 21, 22, 23, 20-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-23-
So with my yarn tail, I'm going to slip knot onto hook and I'm going to chain two. One and two. And into the second chain from hook, I'm going to do six single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Now for the next round we're going to increase from 6 stitches to 12 just like we did with the bottom of the bag. So to do that I'm going to do 2 single crochets into every stitch around. So into that first stitch I'm going to single crochet 1 and 2. Then into the next stitch, stitches number 3 and 4. Into the next stitch, five and six. Into the next, seven and eight. Into the next, nine and ten. And into the last stitch of this round, stitches number eleven and 12. For the next round I'm going to increase from 12 stitches to 18 so I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So single crochet for one, increase in the next stitch for two and three, single crochet four Increase in the next stitch for five and six. Single crochet for seven. Increase in the next stitch for eight and nine. Single crochet for ten. And increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve. Single crochet thirteen. Increase in the next stitch for 14 and 15. Single crochet 16. And increase in the last stitch of this round for 17 and 18. And now for row number four, we're going to single crochet around. So we're just going to single crochet 18 stitches. So for the next round we're going to increase from 18 stitches to 24. So I'm going to single crochet in two stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So single crochet, one and two, increase in the next stitch for three and four. Single crochet, five and six. Increase in the next stitch for seven and eight. Single crochet nine and ten. Increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve. Single crochet thirteen and fourteen. Increase in the next stitch for fifteen and sixteen. Single crochet seventeen and 18. Increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20. And then single crochet 21, 22 and increase in the last stitch for 23 and 24. For the next round we're going to increase to 30 stitches from 24. To do that I'm going to single crochet in 3 stitches and then do 2 single crochets into the following stitch 6 times. So I'm going to single crochet 1, 2 and 3. Increase in the next stitch for 4 and 5. 
single crochet six seven and eight increase in the next stitch for nine and ten single crochet eleven twelve and thirteen increase in the next stitch for fourteen and fifteen single crochet sixteen seventeen and eighteen increase in the next stitch for nineteen let's do that one again for nineteen and twenty I'm just going to grab some more yarn and then single crochet 21 22 23 increase in the next stitch for 24 and 25 single crochet 26 27 28 and increase in the last stitch for 29 and 30 now we're going to single crochet around these 30 stitches for one row so one row of single crochet there we go so the next row is row eight and on this row we're going to be making the gaps in the lid where the handle of the bag will pass through so we're going to begin by single crocheting 12 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so now it's time to make the first gap so what we're going to do is chain three stitches one two and three and then I'm going to count and skip three stitches so one two three I'm going to skip all three of them and into the fourth stitch is where I'm going to pick up so after we've chained three we've skipped three and we're now going to single crochet 12 so skip three one two three and then from the fourth stitch single crochet 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve now we're going to make the second gap so we're going to do the same thing I'm going to chain three stitches one two and three and then I'm going to skip three one two and three so from the next round we're going to begin from this stitch the fourth stitch because we're going to skip these three and the next round which is round nine wants us to increase to 36 stitches from these 30 to do that I'm going to single crochet in four stitches and then I'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch so skipping these three stitches we're going to start the next round here so I'm going to single crochet one two three and four and then I'm going to increase in the next stitch after I've itched my face so increase in the next stitch for five and six then single crochet seven eight nine and ten and increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve 
single crochet 13 14 and now we're at the three stitches and we're going to the three chains and we're going to treat these as normal stitches 14 15 and 16 an increase in the next stitch for 17 and 18 and single crochet 19 and 20 21 22 an increase in the next stitch for 23 and 24 single crochet 25 26 27 28 an increase in the next stitch for 29 and 30 then single crochet 31 32 33 34 and then increase in the last stitch for 35 and 36 so to finish off the lid or the top of the the top of the bag we're going to do two rounds of single crochet so from this point I'm going to single crochet around twice and you can see on either side of the bag we now have openings to put our handle through a bit later on so two rounds of single crochet and I'll meet you back here to fasten off there we go so it's now time to fasten off so I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch to join and then chain one and I'm going to cut this yarn tail and now we need to weave in this yarn tail and the next thing we're going to make is the handle for the bag now for the handle of the bag I'm back to using the colour snow and I'm going to slip knot onto hook and I'm going to chain 87 yep you heard me right 87 1 2 3 4 85 86 87 and now from the second chain from hook so we never work into this first chain we're going to single crochet back along all of these chains for a total of 86 stitches so single crochet all of these chains for a total of 86 stitches and after the last stitch we're going to chain one we're going to cut the yarn tail and our handle is done so now if we bring the cat the lid of the bag back in I'm gonna try and explain this whilst keeping you in frame I'm gonna take one end of the bag and pop it through one of the slits we made then making sure that this doesn't unravel because we don't want a twisted handle I'm going to take the other end of the handle and pop it down this the other loop or the other gap within the, the the lid of the bag so we have the strap going through the bag and now we're going to take these two ends and I'm going to sew them to either side of the bag so I'm going to sew these two ends to the side of the bag so I've done my handles they're coming out either side of the bag and I've got it pressed flat so that you can see it in frame and the last thing we need to do is to make the spots for our bag so if I move the bag out the way and I bring back in the snow yarn you're going to need to make about seven or eight of these and with the yarn we're going to slip knot onto hook and I'm going to chain two one and two and then into the second chain from hook I'm going to do six single crochet one two three four five and six then you're going to slip stitch 
into the first chain or the first slip stitch into the first stitch chain one and fasten off and now you have a choice here you can either weave in both of these yarn tails and glue the spots onto the bag or you can save a long yarn tail and sew them on but what I did was glue them on so if I bring the bag back in and I've already made some of the spots position them where you want and then with either super glue or fabric glue I'm going to be using super glue I'm going to put the super glue onto the back of the spots and then press and glue into place so you can make as many spots as you want and you can attach them however you want but I just like an easy life so I'm choosing to glue the spots into place and there you have the completed mushroom bag I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already click that subscribe button so you never miss out on free crochet tutorials and other than that I hope to see you again in the next video bye bye now